What's going on, First Take? The topic is from Wednesday, November 16th. Cam Newton saying that the NFL should allow more celebrations in light of low viewer ratings. Is he right? How can he not be? The proof is in the pudding. So far in 2016, 26 of the 27 primetime games scheduled have fallen exponentially below their projected outlook and ratings. Domestic violence issues, protests, deflate gate, Beyonce's halftime revolution. Are these things more? Maybe. Or it's maybe because kids can't see their favorite post-touchdown celebrations that they do in Madden, done in real life by their favorite players, because every time they do, the NFL wants to play Mr. Belding to their Zach Morris. Take soccer, for example. The most popular sport in the world, in 99.5% of the world, bar none, and uh, this is a sport which encourages celebrations after. Last year's Super Bowl was the most watched event in U.S. history at 114.4 million viewership. Do you want to know what last year's UEFA Champions League final viewership was at? 180 million. Also take your pay-per-view events such as boxing, UFC, as well as pro wrestling. What does this tell me? U.S. marketing, advertising, and branding executives? People like celebrations. Generationally, attitudes are shifting as well. The average NFL viewership age is at 47, and the NBA it's 37. How do you expect to tap into this market when you take away exactly what endears these fans to these players in the first place? Passion and fun. Stop being Clint Eastwood and Grand Torino about this NFL. Let the boys be boys.